Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over embossing folders and we're going to see two different machines that create them. Okay, these are my embossing folders. This is one from Dove Craft. And this is Therese Easter Eggs. And I have several three-dimensional that do a really good job and this is from these are from Snappin' Up. I have a whole bunch that fit the five and a quarter by four that you would use for a mat if you were putting a first layer on your card. I bought this one and it's just a little bit too big. It cuts off either the top or the bottom. It's really pretty, but it just, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to figure out a different size card to use for that one. And then there's these two that's more, uh, that's way bigger, of course. And the, I would use these for five by sevens. I would go ahead and put a piece in here and then cut it down to fit. Um, I bought this one when I got the set, the stamping and die cutting set from Hero Arts on birds, and that was like 2017. But these only fit in my Vagabond, and I'll show you that later. But for this demonstration, I chose these two embossing folders. I have a plain white piece, and then I have some uh, pattern paper, and it's a, it's almost thicker than than the cardstock. So let me show you how I use my texture boutique. I bought this a year ago because I wanted to save my die cutting machines for die cutting. comes with these two plates. What do you, when I pick this up, the first thing I see is an airplane. Isn't that weird? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I digress. Let's go ahead and put a piece of cardstock in the embossing folder. You want the Say for this, the brand mark, you want that to be on top. And then this has the bottom and the shim and then the top. It's big. So these embossing folders are a little bit bigger than five and a quarter by four as far as getting the right piece that you want for the design. So we're going to put it in like so. And run it through. That shim gives it just enough extra pressure. And there's that and I will do one on the vagabond also to see if you can see the difference in the pressure and then let's do a piece of cardstock this is the bow bunny that I used the other day I mean pattern paper did I say cardstock let's use a piece of pattern paper okay Piece, the shim, the folder with the cards with the pattern paper, and then the other piece. Just 
just gives it a nice little texture. Okay. Now let's go over and use the bag bond. Now I'm putting the long plate in here, the platform that came with the vagabond. I'm just putting the first cutting plate down. And then I'm using this big one. It's actually six by eight and a quarter. But if I want to make a five by seven card, I, I cut my piece down to five by seven. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Because like I said earlier, these only fit, the really big ones will only fit in the bag, Vagabond. So you put that on top. You lay the other piece over. Make sure they're even. And run it through. And it's going to really push down on it. Okay, so let's go look at it. Okay, here we are. This is my bluebirds. Nice pressure all around. And perfect for a five by seven card. And I can even cut that down if I need to. So let's go ahead and make one with my Easter eggs. And I'm going to use this paper. The big, the, the hard piece, the shim. This in here. Lay that on top of the shim. Oh, nice even pressure all around. So a little color besides. There's many, many things you can do with embossing folders. And I have so many that I need to use them more. My next video, we're going to be doing some more embossing, but this time with embossing powder and a heat gun. So please stay tuned for that. I will be putting my playlist of my Back to Basics series that this is a part of at the end of this video. If you are finding value, I would hope you would consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.